Sorry about that. Hey y'all, this is Melissa Bryan, the one only and original Outlaw Psychic from Umpqua Valley Psychic and Media, the Outlaw Psychic LLC in Roseburg, Oregon. Well, this is my inaugural 143rd radio podcast. Um, it's actually more like 150 something, but I took the best of the material that I had available and I put it into one station. So now I am back on Spreaker and probably for good. Um, it's just a little bit easier of a uh, module for me to use. So, um, oh, here's what's really been going on in my world since uh, my last podcast here on Spreaker. Um, I've been real sick with a bad cold uh, as of recent, so I have a little bit of a tickle in my throat and a cough left, but... Uh, I think my voice got a little bit messed up from it all, uh, from coughing a lot, and um, I'm hoping to get better over this in the next couple months. It's not a great thing, but you know, it is what it is. God deals with what you gotta deal with, that's the adult world. <coughs> Notice we have a brand new intro show song called... Outlaws and Outsiders, Corey Marks, Ivan Moody, and Travis Tritt. Yeah, these guys rock it when it comes right down to it. I love their music. Um, they're obviously outlaw musicians, much like, um, you know, many of these other 
um, outsider type, you know, country bands, if if you will. Big and Rich, um, uh, their crew, and um, many, many others. <coughs> Pardon me. I had to get a drink of water. This particular strain of cold essentially makes you really, really dry, really dehydrated, really bad. So you have to keep water on you at all times um, and keep hydrated and flushed out. So um, not a good combination, obviously. But I'm feeling a lot better as of recent. Uh, it's day by day. I'm just kind of taking it slow, taking it easy, not pushing myself too awful hard. Um... Gosh, what else is there? Oh, yes, um, I'm celebrating my third year in business. Yes, Umpqua Valley Psychic and Media, the Outlaw Psychic LLC here in Roseburg, Oregon, is celebrating three years of business as of February 3rd. So I'm in my third year of business already. My licensing is now updated and... Um, back in order so I'm very excited happy about that I'm going to be soon finding out if I can rent a space here at the fairgrounds for um, my meetup group yeah I'm the owner of a meetup group worlds within worlds paranormal meetup and so basically what I'm trying to do is um, get everyone to you know go ahead and pay up their uh, group dues and make sure that their app is up to date and uh, have them meet with me for the first time. I think a group setting here at the fairgrounds would be actually a really good ideal place because it is semi-private but also semi-public. So it has a nice balance of both worlds, public and private, and I can control who comes and who goes. Um, <clears throat> And so pretty much that's what's been going on here. We're getting all of our bills paid. We're getting our um, expenses seen to, laundry's done. I'm gonna get that folded up and put it away today. Um, and uh, yeah, I think that's really pretty much about it. Uh, I've just been going and blowing real hard trying to get everything done. My father-in-law passed away last year, last August, and we've been dealing with that. And one exciting thing did happen yesterday. It was probably supposed to have happened a few days earlier, but get this. The President of these United States, Donald J. Trump himself, sent us a certificate of remembrance of my father-in-law, Billy Joe Bryan, for his service in the United States military as a reservist and also as a wildland forestry uh, service person. So we're very excited about that. That was really sweet of them. So uh, Donald, thank you cuz, I appreciate it. We appreciate it. Our family is so grateful for the uh, recognition and certification. Thank you, we appreciate that. It really helps ease the burden of the grief we feel. <coughs> and so I'm also partnering up with Savvy Schmidt and Radio Love to get this radio show to air. And also any of my videos, I'm going to pop it over to them and they're going to put it on their website, an entire page on everything I'm doing. My website is updated. My... Uh, Everything's done. I mean, it's just we're getting it done. And tonight we're going grocery shopping. Can't wait to get that out of our way and out the door. So um, we cleaned the truck out. We are getting all of our chores done. We are going to be, as of, ne I believe, this weekend or early next week, uh, going ahead and... Um, oh, by the way, i got to add something to my calendar. Uh, Saturday. Oh, Saturday, I'm busy. Oh, darn it. Oh, well, I'll go for a couple of hours, probably to move the Idaho border rally. And then, um, 1.30, I've got a client meeting. Uh, let's see here. Um, 
own 30. Okay. Add. Okay, I got that in too. All right. So I've got a couple hundred dollars coming to me Friday and Saturday for client meetings. I'm so excited. Yay. Finally, it's about damn time. <laughs> um, yeah, we're just going to be kind of hanging out here for a little bit. Uh, everyone's heard of coronavirus, obviously. Um, no, we don't have it, thank heaven. Um, my family, my parents, my sister, my brother-in-law, and my nephew all have it. Um, or at least smaller strains thereof. So, I think they're calling all illness now coronavirus. I'm not sure, but that's what my mom says. I don't think she's right, but, you know, who am I to argue? Stupid is a stupid does, so whatever. <laughs> um, so, yeah, we're good. We're good, we're good, we're good. Everything's good here. And also, one other thing is that I am now looking into going into oracle card readings. I have found that I have, oh, I don't know, maybe some sort of a new part of my talents opening up. So, I bought this card set called... Earth Warriors Oracle, and I connected with this one immediately. It literally jumped at me, knocking over a couple of the other boxes of cards of other sets. And this one jumped literally like right into my hands, so I knew that was the one that was coming home with me. <coughs> All of my social medias are growing. Yes, Umpqua Valley Psychic and Media, The Outlaw Psychic, LLC in Roseburg, Oregon. Socials Network is growing. Almost 8,000 now following me, which is great. I love it. Um, well, with the exception of the hate group that has been after me. And um, I don't really like that too much because the war continues to drag on, unfortunately. Um, okay, at the gun show, I found a replica of my 45 Vaquero pistol, which I'm going to be saving up the money to purchase that. I'm going to be getting a Derringer, which I found online. Uh, it's the same one as I lost in the home invasion robbery, so I'll be saving for that one. And at the gun show, I also got a book called Ghosts and Haunts of the Civil War. This is an amazing book. If you haven't picked it up, pick it up like yesterday. Okay, pick it up like yesterday. This book is very, very good. Christopher A. Coleman wrote this book. I recommend it highly, highly, highly. Was I excited when I got this? Oh, you better believe it. Because you know what? A lot of my family members, my ancestors are in this one. And um, Stephen Dodson Ramsher, the place where he died... He doesn't seem to know he's dead, so I have to go over to, I believe it's North Carolina. I'll have to look in the book again. But anyway, I have to go and clear him out of there. He doesn't seem to know he's dead. So um, I want to go talk to him and see what I can do to help him. A lot of my ancestors are named in this book. This is such a good book. I recommend it. Get it like yesterday. And my book, Born Into Shamanism, is now five stars, Kindle, Amazon rated. Yeah, five stars, great reviews. And I am really excited about what's going on with this. We're headed into the PR phase of this. Um, they're going to be playing me on TV, radio, um, blogs, newspapers, magazines, everything, interviewing me for big time stuff, which is really exciting. It means my book is going to explode in the media scene. And that's a good thing. And not explode negatively, <laughs> explode very, very positively. So I'm very excited about that. And I've built my own sort of, I guess you could say, mini media empire, kind of, sort of. It's just really all the work that I do. You know, everything is just about the work that I do. It's not about me personally. I don't like to really, you know, do too much when it comes to me personally. So I'm kind of, I'm more of a quiet person. I don't really talk a lot. 
I try to talk a little bit as much as what little I can. So, yeah, you know, that's kind of the way I am. <clears throat> and, you know, I feel so good about everything that is happening. It's just everything is going so well right now. And when I get back to Facebook, I was illegally lockout banned. Illegally lockout banned. They don't like it that I express my true feelings. And when I express my true feelings, I'm serious about how I feel. I'm not, like, going to beat around the bush. I'm not going <coughs> to <coughs> say anything that, pardon me, <clears throat> say anything that I don't really feel. No, I'm not going to be all sunshine and roses and rainbows and stars. Nah, that ain't me. Okay, that is not me. Let's get that straight right now. That's not me. When I say something, I'm a realist. I am a realist. When I feel something, I really feel it. I truly feel it. Honestly, and I'm, I'm not going to, you know, say that I don't feel the way that I feel. I'm going to say I do feel the way that I feel. And no one has the right to talk me out of it, either. And something else is that I got my spirit there earring set, and I want to thank Bishop James Long for that. Thank you for getting that for me so that the haters don't get their hands on it, you know? You know, so that they can't take this stuff away from me. Again, folks, I am an absolute realist. I really, I feel how I feel. It's the way that it is. You know, what else does anybody want from me? But, you know, I'm going to be starting back into psychic work here shortly. I've got two clients coming. I'm so excited. Yay. Um, one of them is a cousin of mine. Um, related up the line to my cousin John Wesley Harden. I can't wait to see the family stuff. Oh my God, that so excites me. Genealogy, if you don't know who I am already or what I'm about, I also do genealogy on the side. I've been doing this since I was 13. And I have found some remarkable information. I can't wait to show it to my in-law, outlaw relatives here in Roseburg, which is so exciting. Um, I also have another client for psychic work, and I'm ready to do this. I'm ready to make this happen. I'm so ready. I am so, so ready to just make this happen. Ah. <sighs> This has been probably one of the most exciting months of my life. I mean, February was really difficult. I was down and out. I was pretty much out of business. I was, you know, down to my last everything. I mean, I literally almost lost everything I had. So I picked everything back up, put everything back in place. I finally got my last bill paid today. So that's good. That's out of my hair. Um, tonight, grocery shopping, good thing for me and mine. And it just means that, um, yeah, I get to pick my home up and get everything rolling, get everything moving. I'm excited. I'm happy. Yay. <laughs> oh, I can't wait for all this to just go great guns and be so good for everything, you know? Everything is finally picking up and turning around. It's about damn time. But I'm not going to leave Facebook. Reason being is the fact that I am very well nearing 5,000 followers, 5,000 contacts. And my fan page is now at 329 followers. And that is good. That is really good. That's exceptional. Um, and I'm hoping it to grow hoping really to grow it beyond 500 followers. Right now, I've been set back for 30 days. 
So I am going to go ahead and rebuild and I am going to reorganize and get everything back to going again. I'm still very angry and very bitter over it. Um, no one had the right to do to me what they did. Everyone thinks they have the right to try to control me. Let me tell you something. Uh-uh. No. I absolutely will not be controlled and I will not be told what to do. Yes, I am the one only and original outlaw psychic because I have a couple of reasons for this. Is that... Oh boy, okay. Um, reason one. I am blood related to the outlaws, lawmen, card sharps, gunfighters, gun hands, um, outlaw women, and those of very notorious repute. It's true. That's God's honest. I'm not willing to lie about it. <coughs> and they, in and of themselves, were in fact psychic in and of their own right. Each one of them had their own innate psychic ability and ran in the same circles together at times. And then the other reason is because when I'm not sick like this, which I am right now, means I wouldn't be able to do very well, you know, that way. Um, you know, I'm 90%, sometimes greater, sometimes lesser, depending on how I'm feeling health-wise. So, um, you know, it, it all just depends on how I'm feeling. And, no, I never go beyond 90% for um, ability. <coughs> Pardon me. <clears throat> okay, so I'm going to give you an example of how Oracle cards work. All right, I was shown this by someone else who knows how to do oracle cards. I have pretty much shuffled the deck a um, couple of different ways here. <clears throat> All right, so we're going to do a very basic past, present, and future. Okay, I do not know what these cards say. I've got them... Uh, bottoms up. So, let me see what these reveal. First one passed. Anka. Okay. Kin of the Red Hawk tribe. Okay, so that's past. So that refers to past life. Okay, whether this be me or somebody else, I do not know who this is referring to. So... Uh, kin of the Red Hawk tribe. I'm assuming this is Apache, which I understand what this means to me. This may, you know, be of somebody else. Pachamama. She with the Andean Emerald Heart. Okay, I know who and what this refers to. If this refers to you also, congratulations. This refers to your ancestry. Whether this be mine or somebody else's, I do not know who this refers to. It could refer to me, it could refer to somebody else, I just don't know. I don't have that information. And present. Diamond Tiger of the Black Moon. Second chances bring success. Okay, so this does refer to me. Alright, that makes sense to me as well. If that makes sense to you as well, congratulations. It looks like future success is coming. Um, kin of the Red Hawk tribe. This probably refers somewhere in the region of White Mountain Apache, which I understand I have connection to that tribe. I do. 
This is by marriage, okay? This is a couple times by marriage, uh, not by blood at this point, in my time of life. She with the Andean Emerald Heart. That means uh, connecting very much with nature and the natural world, okay? And my heart connects with the natural world, so this does make sense. I'm assuming this is for me, but I can't tell that either, so I don't know. Diamond Tiger of the Black Moon, second chances bring success. This is my second chance this month, which means future success is coming. And it looks like with my book, with everything like that, this connects with that. And it also connects with my second chance with clients. It means second chance at um, all the things I'm doing to work on my own media enterprises so that I do well the second time around. That does make sense, okay? Um, I could have drawn something else, but that makes sense. Past life, current life, future life. Yes, that makes sense to me. If that does to you too as well, congratulations. You have some great cards drawn. Okay, so that is my very first online oracle card reading. Those were oracle cards from the Earth Warriors Oracle. <clears throat> so I'm going to put this away here. <coughs> okay, got that all put away. And so, if I understand the cards right, it means that from past to present, success is coming, but it's not all the way there yet. It means a connection to the natural world, and it means a connection to native peoples, which I have said so many times before, and the cards speak truth. What else can I say? <coughs> <coughs> I told you what I've said before and the cards spoke it as well I have no right and no reason to um, make this not the right thing it absolutely is I was born very much of native heritage, lineage, um, now this could also refer to the Iroquois people, which my 16th great-grandfather is White Feather, kin of the Red, I believe it was Red Hawk Clan, I'll have to look again here for just a minute. Kin of the Red Hawk tribe. That could very well also refer to my Iroquois ancestry. My 16th great-grandfather is White Feather, and my 16th great-grandmother is Scent Flower. Is. I'm not saying was, I'm saying is. Always has been, always will be, now and forever. Yeah. My grandfather calls me Little Feather, basically after him. He thinks it's a cute name. <laughs> I agree. And I am so ready to get this thing rolling. I want to make this happen. So I'm going to try to cut this kind of short because I have other chores. I've got to get done. I've got to wash dishes get my workspace back in order. I've got a letter to answer. I've got laundry to fold. I've got a drawer to uh, put new drawer slides in. Um, I've got finished floors and carpets. <coughs> mm. 
So I'm going to get out of here. Thank you for listening. This is Melissa Bryan, the one only and original outlaw psychic from Umpqua Valley Psychic and Media in Roseburg, Oregon. Thanks so much for listening. Talk to y'all soon. Bye-bye. I'm out of here. Mm-hmm. <clears throat>